For this first episode, we do get an intro of our characters. A very interesting one too. The nut job, the loser, the psychopath, and the piece of trash. What a way to introduce your characters to us. <laughs> so, episode 1 was pretty much a introduction for Miju and Songyeom. I'm pretty sure episode 2 is going to be more of an intro for uh, Yonggwa and Dana. So for Songyeom, like, I can understand why people see him as this like crazy person because of his personality, the way he portrays himself. I don't know how or when he began to act that way, but that's who he is, I guess. And to, and to tell you the truth, if I met a person like him in real life, I don't think I want to be friends with him. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just saying. But yeah, I can, again, I can understand why people see him as just a little bit crazy at times. Now for Miju, to classify her as the loser, I guess um, she does saw herself as the loser because of her position, especially at the beginning of this episode, with her, with, what? I forgot that guy's name, but it's the one wearing the wig. But yeah, just her position alone, I guess she was seen as the loser. So for Yonggua, I guess he's an artist, and that's all we know. And he has honey water inside that tube. But anyway, for uh, Dana, um, I guess she's a fashion t uh, designer. Because in, in that one scene with uh, Son Gyeom's sister, she says, uh, well, the driver said, she wants you to wear her clothes for her company. So I guess she is. Now for her personality, at first I was thinking maybe she does have a thing for Son Gyeom. Because of her obsessiveness, constantly calling Son Gyeom, trying to figure out why he's not picking up. So at the same time, I was thinking, maybe she has a thing. Or maybe that obsessiveness is just her personality and she keeps calling him because she's more business than, you know, feelings. And that also comes into play between her relationship with her brother, uh, Taeung. Now for Taeyung, her brother, he's an idol, and I guess, um, well, it's hard to say what type of uh, character he is, because I, I could say that he is this loving character that wants his sister's approval, affection, you know, he cares for his sister, because uh, D uh, Dana, she, she has that very strong personality, or... Taeyung, maybe he's this sensitive, complaining, dramatic type of person and she knows how he acts so he's not gonna, well, she's not gonna throw him a bone, you know? So it's hard to say what type of character he is. I need more scenes with him. So yeah, a pretty interesting relationship between those two siblings. Now, Son Gyeom's friends. I felt like they were using him because of his status, money, you know, he's the most popular one, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I can say about them. Oh yeah, and Yonggil, uh, hmm. I mean, yeah, he's a friend of Son Gyeom, but at the same time, he does give off that type of vibe where he will be an enemy down the line. But yeah, that's all I can say about it. I mean, the only friend who's not an asshole, well, who's not seen as an asshole is Ushik. And after watching this episode, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he got beat up for no reason. Just because uh, Gyudo got mad because the coach was like, stop slacking off, watch Son Gyeom and learn. Damn. But after watching the second episode's trailer, Son Gyeom will give him an ass, an ass whooping. So, well, I can't wait for that one. <laughs> so, yeah. That was pretty much the gist of the episode. It's pretty much an intro to all of our characters. Now for the romance, well, I can confidently say that Miju and Son Gyeom will be roman romantic interests towards each other. Now, for a, I guess, an unrequited love or a love triangle, love square, love whatever, I really do hope it doesn't have any of that. Because, I mean, after watching Startup, after feeling bad for a character, and also, I mean, 
I don't know how many romance dramas I've seen in many different languages from many different countries. I am, I am very tired of love triangles or love squares or whatever. Cause like I get it, you want to develop the romance. You want your viewers to be interested in which person the main lead is going to pick. But yeah, I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I'm just tired of the whole love triangle thing. I hope this drama doesn't have it and every person has a love interest and they're going to go after that person and there's a not another person getting in the way. I hope not because, again, I'm sick of it. But anyway, this was an okay episode. Like I said before at the beginning of this review, I'm not really invested, but I will watch episode two to see where I'm at with this drama. So anyway, if you guys like my reaction and my review, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.